the permanent secretary, Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment, Ismaila Abubakar, has raised concerns over the adverse effect of climate change on the workplace environment and potential hazards to workers. Abubakar, who was represented by the director, Office of the Permanent Secretary, Jaffa Musa, made this known at a symposium in Abuja. He says there is an urgent need for the ministry to champion laws that would mitigate the adverse effect of climate change on workers, especially those engaged in outdoor jobs, to promote safety and a healthy working environment. The Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment is fully committed to leading the change in this endeavor. We are actively engaged in formulating policies and guidelines that integrate climate resilience into occupational safety and health practices. It is through targeted intervention and stakeholders' engagement that we aim to foster a proactively culture of safety and products, the right and will and well-being of all the workers. Let us commit ourselves to action that will mitigate the effect of climate change on workers, on workers' health safety, and harness the power of collective responsibility to build resilient and sustainable workplace and protect to, uh, protect the health, safety, and as well as able worker leaders lead the advocacy for the enactment of laws that will mitigate the adverse impact of climate change and empower workers with the right knowledge to adopt emerging occupational safety and health issues such as technological advancement, climate change, demographic shift, and artificial intelligence. The impact of climate change on the world of work cannot be overemphasized, but thoroughly scrutinized as one of the emerging occupational safety and health issues in the world. This underscores the urgent need to address the complex interplay between environmental sustainability and the workplace safety. It serves as an important reminder of the challenges we face and the imperative to develop proactive strategies to mitigate risks and protect workers in the face of global warming. The ILO's newly published report, Ensuring Safety and Health in a Changing Climate, highlights the staggering number of workers globally facing climate-related health hazards. This report reveals that over 70% of the global workforce is likely to face operational hazards linked to climate change, including excessive heat, dangerous UV radiation, and harmful air pollution. The report estimates that more than 2.4 billion workers out of the global workforce of 3.4 are likely to be exposed to excessive heat at some point during work. However, the impact of climate change on workers goes well beyond exposure to excessive heat, creating a cocktail of hazards which results in a range of dangerous health conditions. It reveals numerous health conditions in workers have been linked to climate change, including cancer, cardiovascular diseases, respiratory illness, kidney dysfunction, and mental health conditions. The impact includes 1.6 billion workers exposed to UV radiation, with more than 19,000 work-related deaths annually from non melanoma skin cancer, 1.6 billion likely to be exposed to workplace air pollution, resulting in up to 860 watch related deaths among outdoor workers, and over 870 million in agriculture, likely to be exposed to pesticides, with more than 300,000 deaths attributed to pesticide poisoning annually. These are not just statistics, these are human lives. They represent a clarion call to action for us, highlighting the pressing need to adapt our approaches and strategies to protect our workers. The increasingly severe effects of global warming, from extreme weather events to rising temperatures, pose grave threats to the health and safety of those who toil tirelessly 
to sustain our communities and economies. Today, let us we dedicate ourselves to protecting the most vulnerable among us, ensuring that all workers have the support and resources they need to thrive in the face of those daunting challenges. By working together, we can build a future where the workplace is a sanctuary of resilience.